Yo, what's up, boys? It is Keith Stone with Sports Betting Across America. Got another free pick video for you all today. We're going to break down some college football Saturday plays that I really like. I got a second play. I already gave you guys a boom lock of the week earlier uh, a couple days ago. I got another play on there for you guys. It's actually on this video right here. In fact, I told you all I was going to give out a couple college football Saturday passes on this video. So we're going to pick a couple winners from the comment section. If you are Brizzy, you uh, want to pass, just text me up on that uh, phone number up there and just say, hey, it's Brizzy. And I will send you a code for the college football Saturday pass. Get all my picks for the week. And if you are Jeff-LU9WI, you are the second winner. Same thing. Just shoot me a text and I will take care of you guys. Get you hooked up with the College Football Saturday VIP pass, which we are going to cook on, boys. Uh, started to heat up a little bit last week towards the end of the week. We hit a dabble play. Had it a, had it ended up having a void on it, but it hit for 10x. And then we hit another one on prize picks too. So that was nice. And then we hit a few on DK6. So ended the week well um, if you're new definitely make sure you hit the sub channel so we'll get into that boom play first and then i'll come over here on prize picks i'm going to build you guys out a couple two uh, uh four pick correlated like duo type plays that you guys know i like to do for you so let's get into the this is uh the first boom lock if you want to take a photo of this it's will howard over and if these lines are you know within six or seven I, i'd still be okay with it so you go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And then this is the second boom play I got for you guys. Now, if you're not on boom fantasy, they just changed their offer like a week ago. You get up to a thousand dollars in bonuses now, which is kind of insane. That's like uh, the best. I think the most I'd ever seen somebody do from a non sports book was a uh, sleeper. They used to do 500. I think maybe underdog did a thousand at one point. I don't know if they still are, but the other nice thing I really like about doing these little two pick entries for you guys over here on boom is we're getting paid more boys. Now, this is a photo from a client because I can't actually set boom in Tennessee. So, yeah, but look what we're getting paid on this. This is 3.24x. So, 100 bucks down, it's 24 extra dollars. So, over time, that adds up. So, you definitely, it matters where you set plays, guys. Like 24 bucks, if you're doing that, you know, you had 100 of these throughout the course of a year, that's an extra $2,400. It's a significant amount of money over time. So I like Rocco Bichette a lot. These are just really just matchup plays. So I like Rocco and I'd like his receivers too. We'll probably maybe include them in one of the price picks plays. And I just like the matchup versus Texas Tech. I think Texas Tech will be able to score and hang with Iowa State in this one. Should be a high scoring game, I'm hoping. And then I don't know why Josh Hoover's line is so low. I mean, I've expected this to be in like the 315, 320 range. I mean, he's been a little, he's kind of come back down to earth a little bit in recent weeks, but this is such a good spot against Baylor. In fact, Texas Tech is eighth worth in the nation in uh, coverage grades, and they are like middle of the pack with pass rush, horrible tackling team. And then Hoover's playing Baylor, and they're not much better. They're uh, uh, 12th in the nation in coverage, or 12th worst, I should say. So eighth worst and 12th worst. They're, they have like no pass rush to speak of, and uh, they're a bad tackling team as well. So these guys should have time to throw as long as the other offenses can, you know, compete a little bit. I expect Texas Tech to for sure. And I'm hoping Baylor can. I mean, TCU's defense isn't like a lead or anything. So I just really like this play. So I'm going to give you guys a second boom play. Sign up with code SBAA. If you do that this week, if you signed up with boom or better, just text me and just guys be patient. I'm trying to get the passes out. I got a lot of you texting me. I do appreciate the support. And I will get you a code for the college football Saturday pass. So, you know, most of the plays I'm going to actually set tomorrow. So you're not late or anything. You missed Thursday night football, but you know, it's kind of whatever. And if you want to wait till next week and say, Keith, I want to, I want to get my pass next week. That's fine too. So just let me know whatever you do. Just text me up on that number on the screen. If you signed up to boom with code SBAA this week. So, all right, boys, let's get over here to prize picks. And since we're talking Rocco Bichette, I think what we can do I'll build out a few of these for you. So I like Rocco to hit 252 and I really like uh, Higgins and Noel. It's like pick pick either one. I mean, Noel's lines come up quite a bit, which is kind of surprising. Let's move me over here and you can see he's been kind of crushing it the last three games. So what we can do is we can do one of each. So we'll take him and then we'll come find us another duo that I really like. We got Cam Ward. So this is such a money spot for Syracuse. Kyle McCord playing Virginia Tech. They are really bad too. In fact, I had their stats pulled up. They are 29th worst 
in the nation in coverage grades. Now their pass rush is a, a little better. It's actually solid. So that, you know, could be one thing McCord has to deal with. I mean, he let us down by two yards last week, but boys, I mean, he threw the ball 60 times. This, this guy played in a blowout from start to finish. Syracuse really is like a better's dream come true. So we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to take his big tight end, uh, Gadsden first. So that's going to be your first play. Gadsden and McCord with Noel and Bichette. And then we're going to run it back with Higgins from Iowa State. And then we're going to run it back with Pena from Syracuse. So, yeah. So that's your two free plays kind of in the, you know, you're just basically saying, hey, if the quarterbacks go over, one of these two should go with them. So it'll give you two chances. These pay out 8.5x, boys. So pretty solid. And then if we go away from this game, let's just go clear all here. Let's go back to the board. I'm going to give you guys another one that I really like. This one, actually, we could, yeah, I'll stay away from Friday. I'll just keep this all on Saturday. So let's kind of scroll through here. And I got some boys I like here. So uh, Noah Fafita is not a bad bet. You got Kate Klubnik. His line is just getting so big now, though. It's just he keeps passing for so many yards. Against Louisville, that could be a good one, actually. I kind of like the the shuff side of this, too. I think I like Louisville right here. I think we're just going to go shuff. And then I do like Miller Moss this week against UW. Let's see what else we got. I told you guys I like Nico under this week. I like Kevin Jennings, uh, SMU versus Pitt. Now, Pitt's secondary played pretty damn good against Kyle McCord last week. But, you know... I just don't know. Let's take a look here. Let's let's make sure we find the right one. We could go feed a price picks doesn't have a ton of lines yet. Carson Beck is not a bad bet. Dylan Gabriel's line is actually kind of low against Michigan. He'll pro they'll probably have to pass quite a bit. He always sits like right on this line. It's just hard to trust him. Kind of like this Auburn quarterback, too, to have a good chance of going over against Vanderbilt. I like Brosmer, too. That's who we can do. We can take uh, the Golden Gophers quarterback, Mac Brosner. We can come over here, and then we'll take Brooks, who is Tyler Schuff's top receiver. And we'll take him for 82.5. You can see he's hit this in four straight, and he was very close to the one game he missed. The guy's a total stud. And then with uh, Brosner, forget the name of his top receiver i think it's yeah it's daniel jackson that's the guy we want this has been his guy the last couple weeks as you can see he's been popping off i think this is a pretty good bet this week boys so that's going to be your third uh well technically fourth free play but third one on price pick so you got shuff and jacory brooks and then you got the quarterback brosner from minnesota and you got daniel jackson his number one receiver i really like this a lot if you want to get all the plays you can get them right over here. Sign up for Boomer Better. That's your best way into the VIP Saturday Pass this week. I got a feeling about this week, boys. I'm hoping for like a monster weekend. My goal is 100 units, but I would love to, you know, even get half of that, to be honest. So I'm just expecting a nice, big, solid, like just, you know, fuck, fuck, uh, fuck October. We're done with that. We're moving on to November. Last year, November and January were my best. Well, technically January this year, but those are my best two months betting last year on football and college uh, specifically. So let's get it. Make sure you sign a uh, sub to the channel. And if you are at the bare minimum, you, you know, you're already on better. You're already on boom. You can uh, try one of the day passes out down here. The uh, Keystone VIP six packs. And I'm pretty generous with these a lot of times. So like if you want to gamble, say you want to play on Saturday right here. I got the v the Keystone VIP six pack Saturday pass to get you my top six picks They'll either be on prize picks or on dabble. And a lot of times I'm very generous with these six packs. They're usually more like 10 or 12 packs. So it's a good way also to get in to get my top plays for the week, boys. Peace.